ODV? Say it again. Is there a presentation from ODV? Yes, really, but that's really nice. that's not why I'm now here. Okay. Okay, I'm here with Coco and Josh. Shalom. I have questions, guys. What's I need. Up, uh, yeah. What's up? So I'm running around with this stupid thing and ask people. Two days long, we have been on Paris Bar Show and talked about kind of hashtag modern bartender. Mm. I start with you, Josh. What's your when when I tell you what's the modern bartender? What's your thoughts? What's going on in your head when you hear modern bartender under this lovely cap? It's crazy. There was a lot of people talking about this in the show, both in your guys and outside of it. And I think it's really cool because when we all started bartending, just like was discussed at Pour, there was a, a very linear path. It was like what Nick Strangeway said, you know, bar back, certain yeah. amount of time, bartender, certain Work amount of time. Off, get drunk. Yeah, and then you <laughs> become like a, a, a bar manager or head bartender, or maybe you own your own place. Now you're seeing people sort of branch out into this tree where it's like you could own your own bar or you could be the bar manager or you could be a brand ambassador. You could own a brand. You could be a writer. You could do all of these things together. Lots of people, it's like you own a brand, you have a marketing company like us. Sometimes you get behind the bar. Sometimes some people get behind the bar and I think it's really cool to stay stimulated and like like explore the entrepreneurial opportunity that exists within the spirits industry and the cocktail industry. It's pretty cool and exciting. No, totally. And what I really like, I mean, you're the perfect example. I mean, you, you built the, what's the company called? The Bon Vivants. I heard, of, I heard from them. <laughs> Hold there. No, and uh, I mean, you, you did the step. So Bon Vivants is, is it three, four people? Uh, we now have 15 ambassadors in 13 markets, five of us sitting in the office. All the people that work in the markets are working bartenders, so they're behind the bar some nights, and then the other nights they're out working with the different brands, and uh, they're all great guys. But, but who's, who's in charge? The, you, you guys That's myself yeah. and Scott, my partner, yeah. uh, and then our buddy Boris Sashik, who's a great barman from San Francisco, now is on our team, and, uh, and Morgan Schick. So you started with, I mean, not started, but you did Trick Talk as a bar? Yes. And then you started the company, or you did seven time? Or? No, we started the Bon Vivants in 2009 and that was you know the next step for us it was like we're bartenders but then we also wanted to throw events and help out brands and do consultings and things like that and then in 2013 we got to open Trick Dog so it all nice. sort of came under the same umbrella we pulled from the same resources and just branched out a little bit so we have a good example for the modern bartender yeah. here <laughs> so we go on to the next one Coco hello, you're hello. a modern bartender I'm not a modern bartender. I'm a waiter. You're used to, in fact, that you used to be one. Well, um, I think I mean to to the, to the older generations, like my parents, um, bartending or working in bars or food and beverage industry was not a career choice. It was just a job, something you did to, you know, while you were studying or while you were waiting on a gig as a model or as an actor. I, I used to be a dancer. And I like that you say model or actor. You know, not people say study for for university, wait for something like you know. And th these days, people actually decide to become a bartender and like you know when you go to a hotel and you see waiters that have been working on the floor for 50 60 years now you have bartenders who pursue as as a career they're serious about it and um, we live in times where bartenders are not exclusively making drinks yeah. but they can work in PR they can work in marketing they can give seminars they can consult uh, they can go on to trade shows and it it there's this whole huge universe of what you can do of all the uh, various options um, and to pursue those options I think that's what really makes a bartender a modern bartender why you left bartending um, I <laughs> I, wa I wanted to become a bartender when I worked in Berlin, but my bar manager never wanted to let me make drinks because he said, you have to earn the position. You have to be on the floor for several years, then you become a bar back, and then you become a bartender. And then I never believed in this transition. To me, serving and bartending were two different approaches to our industry rather than a hierarchy. So um, where after a few years, I decided that I'm actually that my skills and my talents on the floor are... Well, pretty impressive. I was very, very happy. I was, making, I was making good tips. I, I had the knowledge of a bartender. I could recommend drinks. I could make them, but not as good as our bartenders. I knew how, you know, I knew how to explain a spirit. I knew how to recommend a good cocktail. And I felt like being a professional cocktail waiter is something that is so rare in our industry. And I should master it, become a champion of it. And uh, so I, I, I wouldn't say that I, I left bartending. I just chose a different path, you know. To, to benefit our industry. Nice. It's still based on the love of cocktails and the love of hospitality, the same things that drive bartenders to Absolutely. do that. Absolutely. I believe that serving is something that, I don't want to say ignored, uh, but a lot of people pay very little attention to it because bartenders, and that sounds really 
khaki, they serve 20% of the revenue, while waiters serve 80% of the venue. They go to the tables, they take, you know, they take the orders, they, uh, people pay, and um, a lot of great waiters could be great bartenders, but not every good bartender can be a good waiter. And I'm, I feel that the industry is not paying enough attention to professional servers, uh, people who dedicate their life in, to serving. There are no awards, there are no seminars, there is no education, and there is only very, very little um, enthusiasm within the bartending community actually educate their waiting staff in, in drinks so they can become better waiters, but they train them to become bartenders one day. When I go to a cocktail bar and we sit down at a table and a server comes up to us and presents us with the menu, answers questions, goes through options, and can answer the questions that we have about the cocktails with the same confidence and knowledge that the bartender does and then comes back and flames an orange at the table. I mean, it's like you've brought your game to another level. Like all of your servers know how to do that and have that kind of knowledge. Great job. Would you, would you say because of a maybe arrogant, not arrogant, that's maybe rude, but because of a a short-term thinking head bartender we lost a good bartender because he said you have to earn your things behind the bar so that's why you decided not to do i thought i think because of a short-minded bartender the yeah. cocktail industry won an amazing waiter here we go <laughs> yeah. no, thanks a lot so, thank you for so this uh, is yeah. one zero for coco i would say <laughs> You know, so so please, industry people out there, whenever you hire new staff, whenever you plan your uh, next bar trade show, whenever you think about new awards, please consider service staff because what they do is incredible. It's hard. It's difficult. We work just as hard, and what we do is completely different. It's a different skill set. It's a different set of talent, and it needs a different approach than bartending. So please, tales of the cocktail, BCB, cocktail spirits. Talk a little bit more on communication and crowd control and customer how, service. How should we? What's the name? I mean, is it? Is it Cocktail waiter? Yeah, why not? Because cocktail waiter sounds so 70 like shorts and you know, it's like it's sexism. Or something. People, when they introduce me, say, Oh, Coco is a host. I say, I'm not a host, I'm a waiter. As a waitress at a cocktail bar. <laughs> okay, well, it's set, it's set. Cocktail waitress, it's done. Yeah. <laughs>